I'm going to try to shoot video, but as you know, it's against Cat's Code of Conduct to cooperate with humans, particularly when it comes to photographing medical issues like Kitty's eyes. This is Kitty's regular eye. I've got like one hand to hold the camera, one hand to hold Kitty, who obviously has a mind of his own. This is Kitty's bad eye. <laughs> Gary Grant's like, stop calling me Kitty already. You see how I thought it was improving? When he's in this position, he's looking up. You can't see the damage to his lens. Apparently, his eye will work if it's up. In the up position, it's the damage isn't as bad, but you need to see the bottom of it. This is what made me think it was a third eyelid. The bottom part of his eye, it's gone. I need to go ahead... I can't get him to shift his head. The meds, the medicine's really working. Here, show him the damaged part of your lens. Show Deb the damaged lens. This is working. Yeah. Okay. He's not cooperating. Deb, I'm sorry. As you can tell, though, the meds were working. And the meds, I think they still are. Please don't cut us off. It's working. I don't know how I can get them for free, though. I want to tell you right now, in order to get into town, I really have to get that belt on that car fixed. I'm praying to God it'll make it into town without the belt going. I lose steering, the engine, everything. Anything connected to it. It's a serpentine belt. It's $175 for repair. I need $75 for the storage unit. In theory, I could put all that uh, at $250 in that bank, but I'm going to tell you right now, the bank is only reachable by town when you use the car. To use the car, I need to pay $175 right away. <sighs> it's impossible. There's no friend to take me either. I'll try, but I don't think I'm going to get help. Anyway, long story short, I'm still headed off to the post office, and Cary Grant's had enough. I think he's going with me, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, save it, and then go back to stuff, uh, go back to... Okay, kitty rolling in the middle of an intersection is going to be a problem. I love you too, big sweetie. Get out of that intersection. Honey, they're going to need another hole for me. I'll have lost both you and Frankie. Sweetie, I do not want you run over. I'm sure I checked. You're not going to get yourself run over. Get out of that road. No. You get out of that road. I'll put you back in the apartment. He's going back inside. He's going back inside. Because I love you. That's why. Let's go. Let's go keep Kitty alive. Well, Frankie wouldn't want to see you early. He'd want you to live a long life. He would. He would. He would. Honey, I screwed up on Frankie. I wasn't good enough, but... You tell me if I shouldn't do everything I can to keep you alive. I think I should. I love you, big sweetie. I do. I do. And Deb's probably going to think she's going to die of old age watching this thing. She is. She's thinking this is going to take forever. See how he's keeping it slightly closed? Hmm. Yeah. And I'm thinking I should harvest some of that nip before it freezes. We're going to have our first hard freeze in about a day or so. we got catnip growing around here. Volunteer catnip. I don't know who grew it beforehand, but it's all over the place, and it's wonderful. 
and I don't for the life of me understand the thinking of the people running things about not gardening. <sighs> Let me see if I can get his eye open. You see how it's almost noon, but we still got dew on the grass. Shoot, I'm not doing a good, too, good job at all. I'm sorry, I'm watching Cary Grant in real life instead of through the lens. My photographer friends don't like that business at all. And now he's squinting and closing his handsome eye. I still love you. Even with a bad eye, Cary Grant. I still love you. I still do. Look at all that wild nip. This is wild catnip. Well, not wild, it's volunteer, I guess. Here's more volunteer catnip. I need to get the kitchen scissors and trim off the blooms. He's in catnip nirvana. Oh, there we go. That's showing me high. Can you see it, Dub? I don't know if you're able to... Yeah, of course he closes it. Supposed to film your tiger eyes, sweetie. I am. Unbelievably yeah. handsome tiger eyes. They need to be filmed. I'm sorry I started off with the bad eye. Uh, the good eye, excuse me. That's his good eye. I'm sorry I started off with the good eye. That bad eye is the one that's partially closed now. Well, he's rolling, and I guess you can tell. The bad eye just looks slightly cloudy in the first few minutes, but there is this uh, blockage in the lens, like a cataract on a human. I've seen it once before in another old cat where he had one, and it was like an oblong shape with no corners. Let me see if I can get him to roll again. Such a handsome kitty. Look at that butt button. No, butt button. Butt button. Butt button. Yes, butt button. Butt button. Okay. Yeah. There's a good eye. is getting himself good and stoned. Yeah, he's chowing down on the nip. He loves that volunteer cat nip. Just like Tigger's a total jerk about being, uh, you know, about us excluding him or letting the older, more feeble ones in. Cary Grant's a jerk about his nip. I'm wondering if I shouldn't wait a few more minutes and see if I can't get him too stoned to know. Too stoned to know that I'm taking pictures. There's his bad eye and his good eye. You see how it's totally white. Yeah. I don't know if this is what you want or need, Deb. Maybe I should ask you for more detailed instructions. And I'm sorry I wasn't more cooperative. I still don't know how to contest the tickets. And I won't lie, having that sheriff go psycho on me in the videos, they're trying to charge me for trying to find the distance between that sign 
and apparently it's getting this way all throughout the state. They want to eliminate property tax, which looks good for the property owners. And I don't blame them. There's so many old people that own their homes and it's all they have. Family members that have land and whatever. The waking nightmare is that they're trying to, the cities and municipalities are trying to make up for it with fines. And the police are just getting evil. I got tagged for speeding up in sight of a stop sign when somebody had been sounding their horn behind me. I thought they were going to go crazy and I'd put the other traffic at risk. It's the way traffic normally behaves, but suddenly they're like boss hog and Dukes of Hazard. They want to get you for going one mile over the speed limit. Had him a second ago. You could see the one, his beautiful green eye, and then the bad one. You see how it's just the white lens or third eye? I mean, white lens, and it looks like it's a third eye, only it's not. It's his lens. It's been damaged on the bottom. Looks like we got some eye boogers in there, too. Not much, though. Yeah, you see how he's grooming? No, you don't. I put the phone too close trying to get to his eye. I got one stone kitty here. He looks so happy. Hmm. I wish you weren't such a bully with your nip. You are just the most wonderful cat. Except for your nip habit. Yeah. I love you, my little stoner. I love you. to be filming scary police officers and my kitty is defeating me. Yeah, if I can't film a kitty, how am I going to film a crazy cop? And maybe I shouldn't be explaining my politics. Holy cow, this place smells like catnip. Thank God I'm not allergic to actual catnip. Mmm. What that one deputy stink like, God help me. I am allergic to that.
Okay, I think that's about the limit of the cooperation we're going to get out of Cary Grant. You see how he's closing his bad eye, but not as good? How much can we safely increase the dosage on the pills and... Well... I just wish to God they came like a couple of days after... A day or so after Frankie died. If we'd have had him in time. And it isn't your fault. I should have taken him straight to the vet's office right after I got the sack. Or right after I knew I was getting the sack. Or not take it at all, since it puts such a stress on his heart. There were so many things I could have done better. I just don't want to screw up. Cary Grant used to be the strong one that protected everyone, and he wound up being it again. But for the longest time, when he first had his dry FIP, Frankie was the protector. can't lose him. He means so much to me.